Hey everybody. Um, first I want to say, uh, progressive and liberal ideas aren't bad. And I'm making this video for, you know, everybody because, um, conservatives like to think of liberals or progressives, as they like to call them sometimes, as, um, socialists. And, um, I wanted to say, first of all, that, um, when it comes to the federal government, I just disagree with um, government programs interfering with our lives. I'm not necessarily opposed to government programs helping the people, and I guess that is kind of a contradiction. Um, let me put it, okay, I like Dennis Kucinich, and Ron Paul and, and him, as I read somebody writing, they're like oil and water. With the exception of foreign policy, they disagree on practically everything, but they're good friends. And, um, you know, honestly, I think the, the best thing um, is, is that if, if, when it comes to Congress, like the United States Congress and our, you know, executive branch and whatnot, um, we just need a lot less government power, you know, no executive, like a lot less executive orders and a lot less programs that basically say well, what we can and can't do. We have a constitution and we have a Tenth Amendment and any issue that is not explicitly stated in, in the constitution uh, should be a state decision as it's stated in the Tenth Amendment. So, you know, for liberals who, that are progressives who want universal health care should be done at the state level. And, um, or, and, and, you know, at the very least, like, you know, I'm, I'm all for getting rid of the IRS. And if they have to continue to tax us, like, if they have to, it should just be a state tax. It shouldn't be a federal tax. I mean, I'm against, you know, both forms of taxes when it comes to your income. But, I mean, if we need to make a, a progression of, of things that we need to do in order to scale back the size of government, um, the start is to give all power and sovereignty back to the states because that's where 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 it all belongs. And then that way, states that are more liberal than others can implement those liberal policies, and states that are more conservative can implement their conservative policies. And they don't need to worry about all the fighting back and forth on who's right and who's wrong. And this can go for every single issue, whether it's health care or abortion. If you leave it up to the states, the people can find a place that, that, that matches their ideals a lot better, and they can be happier by, you know, living with like-minded people instead of, you know, the, the federal government basically influencing millions upon millions upon millions of people saying what they can and can't do and overriding state rights. So I just wanted to say that all you people out there who are liberals who hate Ron Paul because of the fact that he wants to get rid of government, uh, you know, social programs that, you know, are designed to help poverty and, 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 you know, welfare and social security and whatnot. Um, you know, he doesn't want to just cut it, you know, cold turkey. He wants a slow progression so the people who are dependent on it can, can, you know, finish off, but then the young people like myself can choose to opt out, um, to say, you know, the government money, and so that way, those sort of decisions can go back to the states. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying I agree with, with welfare, but at the very least, if, if California decided to have welfare and Alabama decided not to have welfare, well, you know, by golly, then I can live in California, I can live in Alabama, I can live at a state that matches me. And, and I think that that's really the, the, the core argument, and I don't think anybody can really dispute that, whether you're conservative or whether you're liberal, is that that even if you disagree with the decisions of some government-funded programs, you can at least agree that if it's done by the states and not by the federal government, it's at least 100% legal, there, there, and there will be a lot, lot less controversy. So uh, if you want to get back to that point in time when states' rights actually mattered and our Constitution actually was valid in law, um, then vote for Ron Paul.